bad news folks had to come down here to the flea market on a thursday to check something out so we got a call from the flea market people apparently our unit got broke into so we'll come down here to check it out uh, see what the damage is of course they can't tell if anything's take it or not because they don't know so got the little man with me here we're gonna check it out together so as you can see they don't only cut the lock but they cut through the clasp here so all right so the flea market people were nice enough to give us a new lock looks like that i got it's somewhere around here they hit it for me so i gotta go find it so I'll look. first initial look little man found a little piece of the lock there so Let's go find the key to this lock and then we'll see what's inside. All right, we found the key. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we can ourselves in. Yep. Kind of ransacked this. Let's uh, get this uh, other door open. Oh, all those, um, cutting thing, things are gone. Look. Yeah. Most of the saws are gone. There's one there, which is kind of odd. Maybe something's wrong with it. They didn't take, look, they didn't take the pressure washer. They dumped out boxes, that's the thing. It's like, yeah. these were all in boxes. I'm trying to remember, there were some saws down there those are gone um there was another one of those saws so i wonder why they didn't take that one in particular um that's a safe right here they looked at it they pulled this open but yeah that's a safe um let's see what else to see. it's tangle on the ground yeah. Oh, you know what? They did take, they took some air mattresses, which, no, right a couple there. of them down there. Yeah. Who would take air mattresses? Is my I'm question. just trying to remember what was right here. We should check in one of our older videos. Yeah, I'll look at some of the older videos, but, yeah, but down there, down there was some, uh, yes. two of those saws, so they took them out and they went through that one, and I wonder if maybe somebody spooked them or something. Over there was, I know, was a couple other um, table saws. Um, so. Air mattress right here. Oh, wait, where's that? Right where's your clock thing that you? What? Your clock with the eight on it. Oh, I don't know. They took that. Oh well. Here's a water cooler. They didn't take the water cooler. Doesn't look like they even went in it. And then back here, in the back here, is that big black toolbox a lot of people have been asking about that's an expensive toolbox i mean it's i think someone must have spooked them before yeah because the odd thing is is that like all these like this was these were all in one box so yeah that's that's kind of strange yeah it's definitely been but, everything's right definitely now. been gone through so it's not as bad as I originally thought it was going to be. Um, I could deal with those saws uh, being gone. I actually didn't know if they worked. Um, I didn't know uh, the condition of them. I hadn't had time to go through them or anything like that. As far as who I think or anything like that, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I was... it's, it's, you know, there's a day for people like that. And I really believe that stuff like that comes around. Um, so I'm left with a little bit of a mess. Not that big of a deal. Um, I'm really not all that worried about it because this is mostly stuff that on Sunday when I come back out here I put some tables out I could put it on the tables and I can put it all back away the way that I was thought it would be is like all of this stuff would be just piled up on the floor in some big nasty heap or something like that but hey you know, it's part of owning a business like this down here you know theft there's not everybody's an honest person some people steal things and you know what? If it made somebody's life happier, that's fine. But I'm pretty sure thieves, they're pretty miserable people. So with that, I guess we'll do a little bit of cleanup. But most of it, I'll just drag it out there now on the next flea market video and put it out for, for sale. And then when I'm done, I'll put it all back in. 
So overall, like I said, not that bad. Um, took some totes, it looks like we went back and looked at some uh, a video from a couple weeks ago where I was showing how I put some new shelving up and uh, looking at some stuff in there. Um, so it looks like two um, wet saws that I'm sure one didn't work, the other one I wasn't, I, I didn't know yet. Um, then it looked like they took some uh, a few totes of just like dollar items. Dollar items. I mean, stuff that that's not very valuable. Um, I come to think of it, there might have been some small like tool accessories, like sawzalls, cut off blades, um, stuff like that. Not not anything super duper valuable. Um, I mean, it could have been worse. Um, of course, it could have been better. Uh, nothing could have happened. Um, went up and talked to the people. Um, uh, they were super nice about it. Um, tried to pay them for the lock. They put a new lock on it for me, like one that's especially for shipping containers. And it's weird. And, yeah, it's a really strange looking lock, or strange looking key. Um, so they put that lock on it, and so I'll probably um, think of maybe I just might go buy my own lock and, and maybe sell that one because I don't know. Because the bag had, I don't know how many keys came in that bag. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably buy my own lock one that's just like it, but it's especially made for shipping containers. I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of, kind of fun. To work. So, uh, headed to now, uh, gonna go to uh, FedEx, drop some stuff off at FedEx, and then see what kind of trouble we get into for the rest of the day. It's been a while since we've been out here. Uh, we've been super busy. Um, just life, you know, the wedding. Uh, we went away, went away for a couple of days. Had to do some work in Charlotte for the last weekend, um, so wasn't able to come last weekend. Uh, we're out here this weekend. Um, I could tell um, it's not real busy, going or going to be busy today. So I didn't put out a lot of stuff. Um, not uh, not as many vendors when I pulled in, um, so kind of tells me that there's not a lot of people going to show up today. But you know, more people show up, I'll put more stuff up. Uh, I'll flip you around here, show you what little bit of stuff I've put out. All right, see, didn't put out as many tables, just put out three tables. Um, put some stuff out. Um, got a pressure washer over there. That's gonna be my item of the day. I'm gonna try to get rid of that bad boy. Um, took it home over the week. Uh, figured out it's working. Um, works good. Got a video to show people of it working. Still got a ton of this bubble wrap over here so five dollars eight dollars five dollars for that so as you can see looking down the row here not not that many vendors out today got my neighbors today they're here today so probably wondering where i've been so still recovering from the break-in trying to get things cleaned up um uh, trying to figure out what's gone uh looks like just about all all of my small tools are gone so yeah, small tools, most of the small tools, hand tools, uh, little blades, uh, stuff like that. Looks like they grabbed that whole box uh, of stuff like that. So, kind of source some of that stuff because like I've told you before, I hear tools is a big seller out here. I don't have that many tools left anymore. I've kind of kept my eye out trying to buy out, you know, maybe somebody on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Maybe they're selling a lot of tools or something like that. Trying to see about that. Just haven't had time. Time is a big thing here lately uh, so we'll see um, time should be freeing up here real soon um, gonna see about uh, you know getting more tools um, I don't know somebody said Candace said earlier that the eh, flea market season's ending I don't know it's a, I think once you get a building or something like this I don't think there's an ending I think if it's a nice day or you know a bearable day where people will be out here we got to come out here and try to sell uh, like I said yesterday if you saw the video maybe I'll put it together because it's a small video from yesterday um, you know yard chairs weren't that great um, I think I hit maybe five and bought I mean spent seven dollars and got just a little bit of stuff not much stuff so all right so we're out here uh, see how long we hang out today here um, hopefully like I said item of the day that pressure washer over there trying to get rid of that Wanted to show everybody something real quick. This guy here, this is why 
it's not a good idea to sell bootleg CDs, games, uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that that guy is some sort of investigator or, or something because uh, I see him out here every weekend. He only goes to people who are selling CDs, uh, movies, and stuff like that. And uh, he just moves on. He sees that you're not. See if we can, he sees that you're not um, selling anything like that. He just moves on from your table. The only thing I've ever seen pick up is CDs, DVDs, games, VHS. Or not VHS, but um, movies, Blu-rays, all that stuff. So... You know, set up at a flea market or anything like that. You gotta watch out. Uh, you can't sell that stuff. It's copyrighted material. Uh, now, if you got the real stuff, you know, secondhand stuff type stuff, you're okay. Just gotta be careful with people like that. Slow day at the market. Um, they just want a lot of people out. I think a combination of probably the, in our area, the last week of summer for kids and because it wasn't very many kids. Usually, there's a lot of people there with you know, kids, and um, that's why a lot of the you know, toys and stuff that we have sell good too, um, but just so wasn't a lot of kids today. So I think a combination of that, back to school, people buying back to school products and stuff like that, which I tried to put out. I had some, you know, school supplies and stuff like that, and uh, nobody even touched it, nobody even picked it up. So anyways, so wasn't that, that I want to say wasn't a profitable day, it just wasn't as profitable as it has been in the past, so. Uh, gotta head on, uh, get some lunch, get uh, some work done around the house, and uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm here late. Uh, I got up a little late uh, dealing with some stuff last night, so slept in just a little bit and turned the corner to come in. I mean, look, this place is empty. My neighbors aren't here. I, I mean, look, it's a beautiful day outside it's up like 70 degrees right now so grounds a little wet it rained a little bit yesterday so oh maybe they're taking a vacation but it's just odd that there's no i mean there's no vendors over there so now ah, we'll see well the situation has not improved um, other than um my neighbor showed up over there that's him right there the man in the green, gray shirt. He showed up. Um, no other vendors down here in the lower lot. Um, he said he was here yesterday and he said it was absolutely dead. Uh, and uh, I guess it was just kind of due to the weather. It was raining Friday. And it supposed to rain Saturday. It held off. It didn't rain till about 1 or 2 o'clock on Saturday. So, but uh, he just said it wasn't very busy. So, um, I guess this guy was here yesterday and then because it wasn't busy decided not to come back today but I am gonna take the time to do a little rearranging um, I finally got the shelf from the other storage building brought it over here so I'm just gonna use the time to uh, get some organization get some stuff put put up properly rather than just throwing boxes like that right there um, get some organization but decided to use my time wisely Cleaned up this vacuum. The thing was filthy, dirty, nasty. You see the pile of rags down there. Um, when I had uh, not when it was dirty, I had ten bucks on it. Now that it's clean, working, everything's fine on it. Put a different price on it. I think I get thirty out of this one. So this is a uh, storage unit buy. I actually bought this one of the last remaining items about of out of the. See, I bought two units in the past, so I've been lugging this thing around for a while. Um, finally, got some time to clean it up. Uh, it tested and worked, so I'm gonna put 30 bucks on it, put it out there. Um, neighbors over here finally showed up, but you can see the in and out vendors are still gone. Oh uh, well, so it didn't put a lot of stuff out. I might start putting some stuff away. Oh, my lamp fell, so I'll probably put that away since the wind's blowing. I've given up on the flea market for today. It's only a little past 10 o'clock. Um, just nobody here today. Uh, and the people who came by, they weren't looking to buy. They were just looking to look around, hang out, and talk, which, you know, I don't mind. But, you know, 
I'm here to make sales and make money. Um, you know, it's getting towards the end of our you know yard sale and garage sale season. Um, you know, and it just it, this whole thing is not working out like I thought it was going to work out. So uh, I think we need to change it up. Maybe on Saturdays, you know, I'll send uh, Candace to the garage sales and yard sales, and I'll come out here on Saturdays. I don't know. It's just not. Uh, it's not generating the type of money that I thought it was going to generate. You know, it's making enough to get by and make the payment on the building. But as far as enough to kind of sustain, uh, not sustain an income, but sustain coming out here to, you know, the time it takes to come out here. So, I don't know. I just have to think about it. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break for coming out here for the next couple weeks. We've got some traveling to do, so... I don't know, think about it, figure out something. Uh, just gotta change it up. Uh, you know, party business isn't working. You gotta think about it, you gotta change it up. So this is what I'm talking about. See, this is where I am. I'm way over there, down there. Look at all these, all these empty tables. But here's the upper lot. Look at that. I mean, there's a packed ton of people. So, I don't know. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the truck here, head home. I'm gonna talk out my idea to you. I got a couple ideas actually. I came up here just to kind of check things out, look around. Uh, went into the building here because part of the flea market does have an indoor section. Um, ran into a, a old vendor I used to uh, work with a lot when I came up here. The guy sells nothing but vintage Tupperware. Um, makes a killing uh, I don't get it I can't sell that stuff I tried to sell it on eBay and sell it out here um, I guess maybe he just knows how to talk the game of to be able to sell people Tupperware I don't know but uh, yeah and so like the indoor there's you know, a lot of people in the indoor um, then you know, the upper part of the lot or the upper part of the market is just packed full of people you know, and there was just no traffic down there today. And it was like that last weekend. Um, so I talked about one of the ideas I had. Maybe, you know, maybe I do need to come back out here on, come out here on Saturdays. And, um, you know, but then, of course, I miss out on sourcing. So then, I don't know, maybe I got to get, uh, you know, Candace to go sourcing on her own. Um, I, I don't know. That something, something different has got to happen. Another idea I had. I have a one of those big like inflatable like bounce house things um, I, I've tried to sell it um, but didn't really pique anybody's interest and then uh, the, the listing expired and I didn't uh, re renew it or anything like that so I thought maybe if I put that out and you know dollar for 10 minutes or I, I don't know but then you go into the liabilities what if a kid gets hurt or, or or something like that so I'm not really sure about that um, and then the last idea I had is you know you got the three of us down there the guy on the end and then the guy next to me the guy on the end owns the two or runs or rents the two buildings next to me on the left and then there's another guy on the right I gotta somehow maybe talk to them and team up with them and go to the people who run this place and be like listen you know you got you got to do something to get people to come down here because then you know we pay, you know we pay the most to rent those buildings and and you know there's just no traffic coming down there yeah, you know and maybe we got to get the market people to do something and maybe offer the tables down there at a cheaper rate for a while or, or something I I don't I don't know um, but like we're dying up down here especially here towards the end of the season. So, I don't know, there's also some other people, you know, on the other side of the lot from us that have the wooden storage buildings, um, you know, and that, you know, maybe try to talk to those people and then as a group we just got to go up there and be like, hey, you know, you guys got to help us do something because there's just no traffic down there. Um, you know, the, I don't know if, the, if they can offer, you know, a cheaper rate on the tables, you know, maybe, you know, because there was a, a regular person that used to come down there, you know, they didn't have a building but they set up for the whole weekend but now it looks like they're going up the top there too so and I, I would too if I were mobile now still I was go I would go up there um, I mean I thought too maybe I'll 
just store the stuff there, you know, and then load up the truck and drive up, grab a table up top, but then I'm paying, you know, storage, and then I have to pay for a table too. Maybe talk to the people about that until, you know, traffic or business down there gets better. I, I just got, you know, I, I got to think. I got to write some ideas down, write about it. Um, you know, maybe some of you might have some flea market experience and can, uh, you know, kind of give me some suggestions too. I, I don't know, but something, something's got to do a little bit. Something's got to give to get a little bit better because... Um, you know, just breaking even, just being enough to have it making enough just to pay for the storage is, is, is not, uh, it's not working. So we got to do something a little bit different. So I don't know. Just talking some ideas out with you. So, uh, head home now. See what's going on at the house. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Please remember down below, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. That way you're notified when we put out new content. Also too, real soon. Uh, when we get to 250 subscribers, I'm going to announce a 500 subscriber giveaway. I've got an item that we're going to give away when we get to 500 subscribers. But first, we've got to get to 250. So again, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Also, don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, uh, I'll content on some of those platforms as well sometimes. So again, 500 subscriber, 250, I'll announce the item. Again, like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.